We're learning new information today about a Bear County software upgrade that's been causing some big problems. So for a week already, we've been telling you about delays and people being released from jail, missing court case information or wrong verdict outcomes being reflected online. Well, an order from the Texas Supreme Court required the county to upgrade its software systems. But some other states using that exact same system have also dealt with problems and some lawsuits as a result. Erica Hernandez talked with a district attorney in North Carolina who says they heard about the red flags years ago. We were warned um, or at least given some level of caution by other jurisdictions. Spencer Merriweather is the district attorney in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. Despite what Merriweather says were warning signs, the state of North Carolina paid $100 million for the Tyler Technology System called Odyssey, the same court management system Bear County rolled out in late May. North Carolina started using the software in 2023, and Merriweather says problems started popping up immediately. What we know now, even a year into this, um, that it takes more people uh, to accomplish less in more time, uh, which is not necessarily what someone thinks of when they think about a te technological advance. A federal lawsuit in North Carolina claiming that eCourt's launch caused people to spend days or weeks longer in jail than they were supposed to. Others have been arrested repeatedly on the same warrant, even after their charges had been dismissed. Bear County is not alone in Texas in experiencing those issues. Um, I know that recently uh, Dallas has had their fair share of issues as well. So um, I'm not necessarily surprised by it. A order from the Texas Supreme Court mandates that all counties integrate their court filing system with an electronic filing service called Research Texas. It's a website that compiles court records statewide and is run by the same company behind the software Bear County is struggling with now, Tyler Technologies. Bear County's deadline to make the transition is October 1st. As for the lawsuit in North Carolina, that is still pending. Here in Bear County, as far as we know, there has been no lawsuits filed here so far. Earlier this week, we did speak to Judge Peter Sakai, who told us that the county is doing everything it can to fix this problem. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News. Now, we've been reaching out to Tyler Technologies for days, requesting comments. At around 4 o'clock this afternoon, they sent us a written statement that said, in part, quote, we have been working closely with the county to address and resolve implementation concerns. This is a large-scale implementation, and the county's change management practices are following the traditional protocols for a project of this magnitude. Throughout this transition, we are unaware of any software or systemic technical issues impeding core work, end quote.